My name is Fernando Rodriguez. Most people call me Fern. I was born and raised in Little Havana. Working out has been a passion of mine since I was 18. It's something that started as an escape during the most challenging time of my life. Whenever I'm stressed out, whenever I'm going through something mentally, physically, it helps me just forget about everything. And it's just a passion of mine. Put the music on and lift the weights. It's a very therapeutic thing for me. It helps me just let go of everything and puts me in a state of mind that I can't give up. Doesn't matter how heavy the weight is, you just can't drop it, because if you do drop it, it falls on you. This is fuel to my fire. Once I'm in that zone, I feel like I can't be stopped. My main reason why I started working out was because both my parents had cancer. My mom had it when I was um, a junior in high school, and my pops had it right after I graduated. Eventually, what helped me out was the gym. It was just getting in the gym, focusing. Whether it was one hour or two hours, it was one or two hours that I wasn't thinking about my parents going through that traumatic event they were going through. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's scary because you don't know what your loved ones are thinking about when they're going through that. You wanna be there for them, but there's so much you can do for them at that moment, especially at a young age. I'm grateful to say after a couple of years, both my parents overcame the battle with cancer. But they never showed any weakness, they never complained, they never put their head down. I don't think they noticed it, but I noticed it. And um, it kind of changed my perspective in life. After my mom's battle with cancer, I decided to get my first tattoo. This was around the time I was 18. I got both my parents' names with the breast cancer ribbon being next to my mom's name. When I turned 21, I got a tattoo on my back that says fuck cancer. And um, I live by that. I live by saying fuck cancer, it's, it's crazy. On my leg, I have tattoos that are only dedicated to my family. The family tree, a portrait of my parents, a portrait of my grandparents and me and my sister when we were young. The one that really sets apart from all my tattoos is the one that I got after my cousin Denise passed away. Her favorite cartoon was Stitch and she had a pillow that said on be a good human. And I got a Stitch tatted with next to it saying, be a good human, because she was a great human. I have plenty of cancer awareness tattoos. This one is for brain cancer, and this one is for ovarian cancer. Two of them, which are dedicated to two of my homies from college. This one is for children cancer, leukemia, and liver cancer. I also have words like aspire, pure-hearted, fearless, pain breathe strength, and humble. Some words I carry with me and live by every day. Ultimately, falling in love with fitness has allowed me to embrace a lifestyle that I'm very proud of. I've been able to become a trainer and meet people that I'm very grateful to have in my life. It's also allowed me to learn a lot about myself and how to get through any trials and tribulations in life. The same lessons I learned in the gym, I applied in my personal and professional life. When the going gets tough, no matter what doubt comes into my mind for that split second, I know that if I push through, I can overcome anything. Whatever I do, I gotta give it my own percent By 1997, my grandma passed away from cancer, breast cancer to be exact. At a young age, my mom put me and my sister in a cancer charity called La Liga Contra el Cancer because they helped my, my grandma with medications and everything she needed while she was going through her cancer treatments. I don't remember which year it was, but I saw Mike Lowell. He played for the Marlins. He had testicular cancer. And he came out on the screen and was talking about it. And my dream was to make it to the major leagues. And I said, once I make it, I'm going to have my own charity and help as many people as I can. My dreams didn't come true, but the dreams of starting my own charity never died. And little by little, I started my own cancer shirts, selling them and donating the profit to the Liga Contra el Cancer. So my brand right now is called Primatic. 
before it being called prematic, it was called ruthless bullying because cancer is ruthless towards you. So you gotta fight it with the same energy. You gotta be ruthless towards it and you gotta believe in yourself. I had made um, fuck cancer shirts and I started making fuck cancer hats as well. I was able to donate $250 of profit to the Liga Contra Cancer. Once I started working at a gym, the owner from the gym will always be like, Fernando, you're very charismatic. And I was just thinking charismatic, charismatic. And then I just put pure and matic together. And that's how pure matic came along. I've been blessed to have two great parents. They always instill like kindness, respect. My parents met at church. Every year they'll go out and feed the homeless. One year I just started giving out clothes to the homeless on Christmas. And then gradually I saw that they needed more than just clothes. So I would cook for them, I will give them goodie bags, bags so they can carry their stuff. And I've been doing that for about 10 years now. Maybe not every Christmas to the homeless. But eventually I want to have something huge and um, for the whole city of downtown and just give out a whole bunch of people, have a crew. That's my ultimate goal. I wanted to be foundation of charity. I wanted to help people, whether it's autism, cancer, homeless people that need food, clothes, um, somewhere to sleep. Whatever the case might be, I wanted to be about giving to the people and helping them very genuinely. It's a different feeling, like me making somebody else smile is what genuinely makes me smile and makes me happy. The definition of Primatic is helping others without any expectations, being that positive impact the world needs. It's being real to yourself and being real to the people around you. All my life experiences, my upbringing, my influences have brought me to this point where my ultimate goal in life is to help people. That's what Primatic is, is helping someone that needs a helping hand. Anybody can help somebody. It's just, are you willing to do it?